Oh my god, <laughs> hey, I totally didn't see you there. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. So as you can see, we are sitting on the nice blue couch because Maya and I feel that we live in a very pendulous world where things are always changing and shifting and things are always happening, right, Maya? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is we're going to be starting a new segment where we discuss what's happened every month in a segment we like to call Spilling, Spilling the, the Tea. tea. So let's talk about people's 2019 choice for sexiest man alive. Apparently they chose John Legend, which like, yeah, yeah he's an attractive it. man. I don't think that he's like not attractive. Would I call him 2019 sexiest man alive? Who was the 2018? Idris Sexy Elba. Man? Oh. We're coming off of Idris Elba. Isn't it Idris Elba? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, have you seen him? He is a sexy wait, man. Wait, wait, wait. Well, he made a joke about it. 1995. Which I think is okay, so this is the joke. Instagram. 1995 John would be very perplexed to be following 2018 Idris Elba as hashtag sexiest man alive. Hell, 2019 John is about as equally perplexed, but thank you at people for finding me sexy. I'll take it. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, right? Like, I don't think that, like, he's the sexiest man alive, but you know what? The fact that he has a sense of humor about it and oh, that, you know what? He's just a, he just seems to be an all around really nice and talented guy. Like, you know what? I'm glad we're honoring people like that. It's just like, you know, like, Idris Elba. It's, John Legend, like they, they. But there have always been questionable choices with Sexiest Man Alive. Didn't they make, um, what's his, Blake Shelton was one year the Sexiest Man Alive? I'm not mad at it. It's not who I would necessarily go for as my first pick. No. But like, I'm not mad at it. Yay for you, John Legend. We're happy for you. You're a nice dude. Cheers. And Yay, you're the sexiest man alive! Yes, queen! Okay, so on like a really exciting note, um, one of the biggest things that like shook the world this month was the release of Disney+. Plus. Mm. This is really exciting to it me really is. because, um, well one, all of your Disney movies are in one place, yeah. which is fantastic. Also, also, remember growing up, we literally had access to like the prime time of Disney. Like we're talking like, Hannah Montana, Sweet Life is Zack yeah, and Cody, like That's So Raven. That was the Disney. that was the golden age of like the Disney really Channel. Was. And guys, it's all Lizzie on just yes. And they're the rebooting box. it. They're freaking rebooting. They're rebooting it. Lizzie McGuire. Yeah. What? With the original cast. Stop! I did not know that. What are they doing for the reboot? I don't know. I would never even think to know where to go to watch them, but it's nice to know that I now have a place to go and watch them yeah. back because I can just- But how much is like the subscription for it? Oh, I don't know. For those of you who have it, sound off in the comments if you love it. Yeah. And um, for those of you who don't, read those comments. Read those comments <laughs> so you know if you need to get it or not, or like how to steal someone else's, you know. Listen, everyone, the world is now all online. It's all streaming. Speaking of streaming, uh. I'm ready to move on to the next topic now. Ugh. Stop! This news came out recently and it's about someone, well, I would say right now is the queen of music for me. That is Miss Lizzo. Mm -hmm. Lizzo is killing it on all fronts. Every single live performance I've seen so far, popping. She's been banging them out. The album. Is there a bad, there's not a bad song on that album to me. I if it doesn't win a Grammy, I will call robbery because I think that that's ridiculous. Lizzo is just refreshing. Yeah. Like she is an everyday woman. Like she's exactly like she, like Lizzo is like, Lizzo is like black, 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 like prides herself on being a black, big black woman. And yeah. I still find parts of myself in Lizzo because to me, she just represents like, 
everyone. She represents everybody yeah, she in represents some way. She represents real people. Yes. She has been announced to be headlining the Las Vegas New Year's Eve show. <laughs> yes, queen. We ain't getting no fucking Mariah no. up in this bitch. We're getting somebody who's going to entertain. As a performer, it just made me really angry. We're not no, gonna nothing will ever be better than when she completely sang off of key. Ooh. If you're a Canadian, this has certainly been something that you have um, heard, of. heard of, and it is um, Don Cherry being fired from Sportsnet due to very inappropriate comments he made on behalf of immigrants in Canada, where he, as a white, straight, privileged, cisgendered man, decided to take a moment to let us know how you people need to appreciate Remembrance Day. It was a hockey night in Canada, so it was a Saturday night. Okay. And basically what he was talking about was that the Remembrance Day broadcast shouldn't happen this year, wasn't happening, or he didn't feel it had the same effect because while he should have said Canadians don't represent and rep the poppy as much as we should anymore, I understand his frustration and in that we as a country should be more grateful for the people that have fought and lost their lives for us to live in an amazing country such as Canada. However, he was very quick to blame what was very easily, you know, Essentially, he attacked immigrants and something that I think is really important is that he decided to say you people yeah. And that is a very xenophobic thing to say where you're not talking about you people as in the collective of Canada, John Cherry. You're talking about people who appear to be immigrants to you, which is essentially attacking people of color. And I understand that we're saying this as two white people, but this is the reason that I struggle with it. And it's because I come from a second generation family where my grandparents immigrated from Italy here in the 1950s and the 1960s. So did mine. They had struggles and they had to fight to give their families lives here so and I'm sorry. And a lot of them actually fought in the same war that we're remembering. Exactly. My, both of my grandfather served in World War II in Italy as a policeman. So I'm sorry that you know what? Remembrance Day does hit home for our family. And even though, and like here's the thing, like it's like yes we're honoring Canadian soldiers but people no matter where you come from, you're honoring veterans and soldiers yeah. who fought for whatever war. It's not like, it's not conducive to just wars that have happened in what? Canada. It's conducive to wars that have happened all the time. What throughout history. My, no, where he went wrong, 110%. You don't get to attack as, a given no, group you don't of people. Get to attack One and two, people. I'm sorry, but I'm just gonna say this because I think that it's just the, the tea. Bitch, you were hired yeah. to talk about hockey and yeah. nothing else. Please shut the fuck up with your privileged white ass on political issues, especially given that you're extremely flawed. I think that Don Cherry has been problematic for a long time. I think he's said things that have been problematic well before this. He yeah. once made a um, statement on indigenous peoples in this country where if you have not heard what he had to say then, you should look at it because it's pretty appalling. And I just think that the country is divided over this thing that... Frankly, if you have any ethics whatsoever, you should know that this is problematic and whatever. I just, I think it's good that he's been fired. Okay? That's just my, that's just my take on this. You know what? He is a Canadian classic in terms of hockey. No. In terms of hockey, he is, you know what? An iconic figure for that, but it's 2019. I just, I struggle with it. I really do because it's like... He says these things and continues to stand by him. So I just, it, I just, I rebuke the idea of him being a Canadian icon if everything he has to say is problematic. I just, I do. But that's just me. And you're entitled to your own opinions, so. Thank you guys for watching. All right, please make sure that you like, you comment, you share, and you subscribe because we love you. Yes, and if you haven't followed us on Instagram yet, I am Zach Colangelo with two H's after Zach. And who are you? Hi, hello. Hi, underscore Dana Luzzi. Yes, very good. But so I this, hated that. <laughs> this has been a spill the tea for the month of November. Thank you for joining us, and we will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. We down this bitch. And that's the tea, sis. <laughs>